Do you have a middle-aged to older dog with arthritic pain? This is a super simple, easy, and effective way to help. Pippi, our famous lab. She's about nine years old now. She's actually considered a senior. You know, and she's really not moving the same way she used to. Pippi's joints, they're definitely stiffer. You know, when I go here on her left rear leg, I flex and I extend her knee here. I can feel a little bit of crunching or crepitus. She likely has a little bit of knee arthritis. Upon extending her rear legs, putting a little bit of force here on her hips, I mean, there's definitely a little bit of resistance there. I mean, I, and I would expect that at a dog her age, she's got a fair amount of joint wear and tear. Just what happens over time, you wear down your cartilage, you have bone rubbing on bone, you've got arthritis. Also very common for our dogs that are especially active is to have a degree of arthritis in between some of the vertebrae. So the knee, the wrist, the hips, the vertebrae, those are all bones. When bones articulate with other bones, they have a thing called cartilage, the smooth covering is supposed to allow for smooth movement of bone over bone. But as you age, you lose it. And I can personally attest to that. So you can go see your veterinarian and you could pick up some type of anti-inflammatory like this. But these medications, they can have serious side effects. You know, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach ulcers, liver disease, kidney disease. There are multiple different supplements, alternative treatments to help our dogs that are in pain um, from degenerative joint disease. And I've done multiple videos on those. And I'll link to those specific videos within the description box. This though is one of the simplest, easiest, oldest remedies for dogs of chronic inflammation is degenerative joint disease. In today's video, we're talking about heat. A disclosure in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing a company that sells custom heated braces for our dogs. If you do happen to purchase one of those braces through my link, I may receive some funds for that. So I just gotta let you know. Two different options. One, we have our inexpensive $20 electric heating pad. And a number two, we have these wonderful custom heated braces. Here's one for the knee. It's made by this company called Petitech. The principle of heat therapy, it's really simple. You know, when we go ahead and we warm up an injured joint, we're gonna cause the blood vessels to expand. When they're expanded, then the blood vessels can deliver more blood, more oxygen, more nutrients to help those tissues heal. You can see a marked reduction in pain without any side effects. The principle with heat therapy is it's a chronic. In terms of we're dealing with chronic pain, it's an ongoing injury, ongoing inflammation. The dog has done something acutely, say Pippi was running and all of a sudden she's really limping on her left fore here, her wrist is in pain, there's been an acute injury. Then you're going with the principle of applying ice. And in general, the first 24 to 48 hours, we're taking down the swelling with ice. But for most of our dogs and most of the injuries that we're dealing with, they're chronic. Number one, I'm gonna show you with our inexpensive heating pad, AKA this little guy here. I'm gonna stick our little controller onto medium. We've got medium heat. It is covered in this protective pad, but if you consistently use it on their dog, it's gonna get all hairy. So I suggest a thin little towel. I've got my tea towel over top of the heating pad. I'm gonna put one side on the inside of the knee here and the inside of the thigh. We're gonna wrap it all around her knee. Cover the outside of the knee. So it's over top of the knee, the inside, the outside. There it is. We got our heating pad on medium. Just put your fingers in next to the skin just to make sure it's not too hot. You want it to be comfortably warm. Comfortably warm for you, comfortably warm for your dog. And this is something, ideally, you're gonna be leaving on, you're gonna do this for 10 minutes twice a day. If you're not sure, I say just start, do this for a week. Do it 10 minutes twice a day for a week. Specifically, if your dog has one isolated sore joint that's easy to apply heat being pad to, such as the knee. Now this is the high tech, pretty fancy heating brace, which I really, really like. So the company is called Petitech. This is their left knee one, which you're gonna demonstrate on Pippi. It comes with a rechargeable battery, AKA this guy here. But here's the off on switch. Let's hold it down for three seconds. It's gonna light up. There we are. We're on red, blue, and green. So those are ranges of different heat. Green being the lightest, red being the hottest, blue being in between. The material feels really nice. It's obviously a really well-made brace. And it's also made of a material called graphene, some special funky material 
which is especially durable but conducts heat really, really well. So it's moving the heat potentially much more effectively in through your dog's skin, getting into that joint, helping speed healing. And it does feel nice. You know, I wrap it around my hand, I'm like, oh, it feels so good. Heated brace time. So you wanna make sure that the battery is on the outside of the leg. So then, you know, and you can see the Petty Tech logo, so you know, you're putting it on the right knee. There's one for the left knee, there's one for the right knee. One Pippi's left knee, you can see it form, nice form fitting over just underneath your knee. You run the Velcro straps around the knee. They attach nice and snugly. There's one. Let's see if we can get the second one on there, Pippi. Nice and snugly. We can. Aha. How does that feel? This is left on for 10 minutes. Ideally, you're doing this 10 minutes twice a day. This here is the hip brace. And I want to try to attach it to hip Pippi as well. So the hip brace, it fits comfortably over top of Pippi's hips, which is nice. And actually it's got a little, almost a little form fitting here. So it fits in behind the point of the femur. So I think it's gonna be quite easy to then have it firmly attached to the hips. One Velcro strap underneath your left groin, your left leg, the right Velcro strap. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see. There we go. Wow, that was pretty darn easy. Then they also have this strap that runs from the collar, as you can see here, along Pippi's spine, and it just hooks. If I can see without my glasses, I can, hooray. Hooks onto that hip brace. What do you know? This is a really nice way to be able to apply heat to both of the hip joints. So there it is, heat therapy for your dog. We got the inexpensive way, AKA the $20 heating pad. And we have definitely the more expensive, potentially far more effective way with Petty Tax heated braces. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Venery Secrets of Heat Therapy. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications. One, I do have more information below about Petty Tax products if you're at all interested in their heating brace. And number two, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click that link in the box below for more information.